Good evening. This is your man, Roadblock, hosting once again at the Manosphere Lounge. Now, uh, let's see. I just got done watching uh, Morris with America, and I promised uh, my viewers that I'd give a uh, video review on the movie. Well, you know, these, um, I saw it, you know, it was pretty good, actually. And I found out something else very interesting about it that I should mention. Um, they have like a Rotten Tomatoes certification on it, and I figured out why. Nobody, and I mean fucking nobody, wants to see a black man be a father to a son, which I say is complete utter bullshit. Because our old boy, um, Craig Robinson character, he was definitely being a father to a son. <laughs> like, in the beginning, um, the son was smacking his lips. Like, hey, man, what are you doing that for? Don't be doing that here. Uh-uh, not cut it out. See, that's the problem today. These little black boys... They ain't got no fathers in their lives. Up here smacking it looks like they mama and shit. Which is why, again, I say fucking black women are just the retarded children of the classroom for that shit. And uh, I might be going a little off topic, so let me just get back to, to the movie. You know, it was, you know, basically, basically the father and the son, the only two black people in Heidelberg, Germany. So, you know, the uh, father was like, you know, don't be getting into no shit, boy. Don't be looking for it. But you know how teenagers are, you know, he wanted to experiment, do all this stuff. And, um, you know, he got stranded out of, out of town. Father caught up with him. And then they had a heart to talk. I mean, heart to heart and everything. And, you know, I thought it was pretty cool that, you know, because I never really had that with my father. Long story. I did a little bit, but it wasn't really like this. And I consider myself lucky that half the time that he was there, that I'm not in jail right now. I just wish my mother and father would let the hell let each other the hell alone. But that's just me. But yeah, um, you know, the girl he was after, he used to say she was non-black. That's probably why they're mad too, you know, call it rotten tomatoes. Just face the facts, everybody. I mean, even director face the facts. Times have changed. Black men and black women don't get along anymore. That's been going on for like, I'd say about 40, 50 years that they don't get along anymore. Because why should we black men put up with black women's bullshit? But yeah, watch out for them white boys too, because they some treacherous motherfuckers. Now the girl that he was after, she was kind of sort of in between and not really... I would Not, not what I'd say that I would have envisioned for the boy. There's like the scene where, you know, she squirted him with a water gun. And then she claimed that he was supposed to squirt it back. I kind of heard something like that shit before, and, you know, when I was that age. You know, me personally, I was just reticent to stay away from girls because, you know, my family was on that whole, if she ain't, ain't home, if she ain't, if she doesn't wear your comb, or she, if she can't use your comb, don't bring her home bullshit. I didn't bring no girls home. No, there was nothing wrong with me. I just knew that them bitches wasn't shit. I tried to explain to my mother when I was 14, but she ignored, she summarily ignored it. But again, I'm going off topic. This is more of the um, father, you know, being a father to a son. The things that you really don't, that you don't see in America anymore, particularly Black America, and it's a damn shame. Why? I even heard um, there is some uh, one of my G plus uh, family. He mentioned something about somebody getting thrown in jail after paying child support like he was supposed to because he was spending too much time with his son. Now, how the hell do you spend too much time with your son? Oh, I forget. Um, that's not normal because, you know, mama got many uncles coming in the house. I get supposed to spend time with those jokers, please. That motherfucker's there just to fuck your mother. But, you know, seriously. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I mean, yeah, you know, it had its little mishaps and whatnot, but hell, what movie doesn't? But, you know, it's nice to know, again, that a black man is being a father to a son. So, I mean, you know, for their roles in it, I give um, Craig Robinson and Marquis Christmas big ups like a motherfucker. Just like the boy got grounded like a motherfucker, but yeah, you know, if um, any of you brothers out there you know, you have sons out there and uh, want to see the movie. Well, I warn you, there is some strong content. But, um, you know, you'll probably be, like, I guess, desensitized to that. But, you know, give it a look, see. Because, you know, it's a pretty good movie. Like I said, you know, despite some of the humor in it and stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, you know, it just there's a clear, here's a hidden message here. At least two that I can think of. One, black men step up and be fathers to your sons, and uh, you know, the, for the younger generation, these little black boys, don't settle for less. You don't have to settle for a Taniqua or a Laquanda. You can go get you a Becky or um, uh, Rachel or whatever. All right, man. That was enough for me from the Heavy Machine Gunner at the Manosphere Lounge. Hope you enjoyed my first video review. Peace.